I'm going to take a look at the 50 cent pick five sequence for Monday night at Yonkers Raceway. It has a $10,000 guaranteed pool, begins in race five. In the first leg, I'm going three deep. The two, Muscle Bart, 12 to 1, one on the engine and then stepped up and was stuck with post eights. Raced evenly and last and all lands in the spot to get the top and not look back. The five, Ideal Dancer, three to one, drew off by graded in six lengths versus cheaper, and that came leaving from post eight. Comes off a big mile, 150 and three, but it has been off since October 8th. Will be difficult to beat if comes with the same effort as last time. The six, pound for pound, four to one in the morning line, steps off, off a win, enabled by a nice trip and a smooth steer. Likes to take pictures here, winning nine of 36 starts, and could be in line for another efficient trip, and is a double up possibility. In race six, I'm going too deep. The one, Shakespeare, three to one in the program, was claimed by the Daguette Barn, and she has had success in the past with this six-year-old. Was pace compromised and started from post seven and last. Comes back in sequence. And George Brennan has options with this post draw. It could reward the new connections immediately. The six. Wichita lineman, four to one in the morning line. Beaten shot, got the top and faded down the lane. Took a week off and now, can, and now can use its gauge speed without much early speed inside. Can't take this at a fair price if Joe Bongiorno can steal a quarter. In race seven, going three deep to one. Shazam Blue Chip 7-2 gets some class relief and has started from the outside in the last four races. My guess is Jason Bartlett may want to leave and control the mile uh, with this starting starting from the rail. The concern is being off since October 1st. The two, Rock and Jukebox, 9-2, fits well with this group and recent form has been good. Could be more versatile than others. That gives Joe B the options uh, that others might not have. It could be stalking close to the leaders and the pace should be lively. The three is Hemsworth and 5-2 in the morning line. Gets some class relief and has enough early speed to be on top or in a two hole around the first turn. Has been off since October 6th, and this will be the first start since shipping in from Lexington. Looks like a main player if dial on high. And race eight going to D. My ultimate Byron is the rail horse. 10 to 1, could be overlooked and has battled this kind well. Has won the past two times getting the lead off the gate. Dan Dubay should be aggressive, leaving from post one, and is well worth a swing at anything close to the morning line. The four, American dealer on is 7 to 2. Classy veteran could win coming off the pace or racing on the lead. Jason Bartlett gets the most out of the Toscano trainee and should be there at the wire with a big try. I'm going to close it out in the ninth race using two horses to one. J.B. Graham, the two. Uh, two to one. Went gate to wire and last from the rail and last. And this is a field not any more salty. We'll probably be bet down and we'll look for the same game plan here. The six, Captain Hanover. 7-2 in the morning line was claimed back by the Mike Watson barn who had success with the captain before. The barn has been cold but comes back in sequence. George Brennan should have to pedal down and could battle the program chalk from start to finish. The winner could be the one getting the smoothest trip. The 50-cent ticket reads 256 with 16 with 123 with 14 with 16 for $36 and good luck.